Hello everybody, my name is Super Scroll, and welcome back to Let's Play Tech Hit, Episode 2. I did lots and lots of mining. I made a sapphire sword, and I got my diamond pickaxe because I did me. I found a bunch of diamonds. It took me a long, long time. Look at what I built up. Look at this legacy I have going for you guys. Look at all these resources. You have no idea how long this took. Not many of these, because I try to I basically ignored uh, the ruby sapphires. This is emerald, in case you guys didn't see. Make light, very important. I got a little bit of obsidian, just so it could help me. It did take a long time to mine, obviously. Tons of coal, because we're going to need lots of that. I did. I, I managed to find nine diamonds. You have no idea how many strip nines I went through just to find that. Redstone, very important. Copper, I didn't get as much as I thought I needed. I got 12 tungsten, if you guys want to know what that looks like. It looks like that. Uh, tin, I don't know why I got so much tin, I just got really lucky in finding that silver. I've never found this much silver for, before in my life, but because of how long I mined, I was good. Well, there's more right, copper down here. Yeah, so I forgot to show you guys this chest. It has snowballs in there because I passed a winter biome on the way here. Or, or snow biome, and I'm just like, I'm going to need that later for sure. I'm going to get that. Got flint because you're going to need that. Uh, ender pearls, I just got lucky and killed some endermen before I lit up this area. Tons spawned here. Anyway, though. I'm actually going to get some of this stuff smelting. I'm going to get, like, a stack of it smelting just because uh, that'll help me out later on. I used to be squeamish with, uh, let's just use eight because I only need eight. But honestly, I have so many and I can go back for more later on, so why not just do that. I'm also going to get a stack of copper going because there's something we need to go get. So uh, let's do that. Go get that. I used all my torches, by the way. You guys couldn't see. I don't have any left. My pickaxe broke, except for that one. I made another one, but I really didn't use it. Um, and yeah, I got a little bit more uranium, obviously. And yeah, I'm gonna go, actually, I have the wood on me, so let me just, uh, do it right now. Is there something you need called rubber? Well, obviously, you guys know what rubber is, but it's very, very important. Especially because you need copper, you need cables, you need it for insulation for cables and stuff like that. And cables are very important. So, uh, it's very good to have. So uh, I'm actually gonna go get some rubber. I'll show you what we need for rubber. There's something called rubber trees. That actually can I turn that cave thing off because it's just getting in the way now. And I'm already done with that area. Now I basically drain that area dry, like literally, really dry. I'm never gonna need to go back for resources. That's for sure. I also got that many resources because I wanted to um just get the energy condenser going right now because I have enough resources now to do that, and I'll just show you guys how to do that, because that's the first thing I like to get going, even though it's a waste of resources right at the beginning. It's good to have. So there's a giant forest area here, if you guys couldn't tell, because you're watching this and you're blind somehow. But, um, there's special trees that you need to look for that look like those ones off in the distance, if you guys can see. Um, oh god, damage. Come on, let me through. These things right here, that uh, right past this, this with darker wood, and they have these two leaf blocks that stick up that look very different from the rest. Easily to see in the distance. Sun's going down. I'm on a server, and this is cheating technically, but because I'm on a server, I want to use it to the fullest. I'm gonna set the time back to the morning because I can do that, and I feel good about it. Okay, don't judge me. Anyway, um, yeah, you can. Uh, whoa, I almost fell. I don't know what just happened, but these rubber trees very, very important. Uh, not the leaves honestly aren't important. You can honestly get rid of those. I'm just gonna get a couple saplings for so I can move some rubber trees closer to home. Actually, I only I don't even need to. I'll explain why. Just in a second, these orange patches right here. You need to use this tree trap, this tree tap, which I showed you how to build before. It's just the uh, the six wood in the placement I showed. You tap that, and you get this thing called sticky resin. You get an achievement sticky situation. This, when you smelt it, it turns into rubber. But if you extract it with an extractor, which we'll get into later. It turns it into three rubber. Uh, there's after you do that, there's this little black hole kind of thing left there. You can actually keep hitting that with this thing and trying to get more rubber out of it. Once it disappears, uh, the sticky resin will never reappear in that spot. If you leave it though, sticky resin will reappear uh, later in in time. But honestly, I don't find that to be an issue. I'll explain why later. Normally, people get their uh, rubber trees going at the beginning and stuff like that because they're gonna need lots of rubber. I have a better solution to that which is use as much resources as possible at the beginning and uh... yeah often um... these will break really... what just happened? what? I only made three so why is this back at full... that makes absolutely no sense just get as much as you can out of these because I'm not going to come back and get anything from them 
But uh, my situation is to use as much resources as possible at the beginning because I got so many. And then I will simply condense as much rubber as I need. Because this does have an EMC value, meaning you can make it. If it does not have an EMC value, then you cannot uh, put it in the condenser or a transmutation tablet. But I am talking a bunch of gibberish right now because we haven't actually seen any proof of me being able to do this stuff. So, I have 10 rubber, a sticky resin, I mean, good enough for me. Let's just go back to my, uh, to my, to my little base and let's get started building stuff. Like, by that I mean crafting. I will, by the end of it, probably would like to have at least a giant facility. And by that I mean like a factory of weapons. We'll have pipes automatically making everything for me. Then I'll just have like a shipping center that ships everything and it'll be awesome. Hopefully. I'm running out of the bread. I'm going to have to go back to the village and show you guys uh, the great village that I found. Because it does. Th there's so many wheat fields that uh, once you harvest the entire thing, you'll get like almost five stacks of wheat. Which is pretty good. You guys can hear that rumbling in the background. That sounds like thunder. That is thunder from the map most. And honestly, it's kind of annoying. So I'm going to turn it off by hitting F7. I'll repeat that. But I'll turn it off by, by hitting F7. There it is, Matmos, as you can see in the corner there. Stop, press F7 to re-enable. Pumpkins, you can keep growing. I actually built a little underground that I forgot to show you with a trap door, obviously, because I don't want nothing coming down here. Little base. Um, this is where I'm going to put all my machines, because machines can get quite noisy. So, um, let's get off with the, uh... See, you've made... Whoa. Whoa, wait a minute. That copper's looking different. I, I I forget about it. Who really cares? I think I, that might be something weird with the system. That's the wrong kind of copper that I got. Why did the game do that? Is that a weird glitchy thing? That's weird. Because there's two different types of copper. And I'll show you guys. Maybe uh, something happened with the texture pack that I messed up with the files when I was trying to add stuff. But there's this copper and there's this copper. And then when you have an ingot, there's this the copper I'm supposed to have, but I'm getting this copper. So perhaps I should stop that. And uh, let's see what's going on with this. What? This is the copper I'm supposed to have. This comes from this copper, which is 249, which is this one. Oh, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to have to check the files afterwards. Forgot the copper for now. I'm going to need the copper, aren't I? Is the entire thing weird copper? That makes absolutely no sense. This is the right copper, which is what I mined from last episode. So that makes sense. I have no idea what's going on. Either way, I'll just turn that into EMC. I don't know. I don't know. That's something supposed to be in the game. Or at least not supposed to. Did something go? I don't know. I'm not going to try to explain this because this is the magic of computer glitches. Anyway. The reason though I got that charcoal was because you need to make three things. First of all, I'm actually going to show you the the uh, energy condenser has a large EMC value, 42,000. You need four diamonds just for this, plus four obsidian, but to make the alchemical chest in the center, you need stone, iron, chest, and these covalence dusts. To make the first covalence dust, what you're going to want to do is, this is making me feel bad, so I'm going to get rid of all this because I don't know what went wrong with the game. So to make the first covalensis, which is the green one, which is the easiest to make with the lowest EMC, you do that with charcoal and cobblestone, you get 40 of that. Perfect. Next, you're going to need one redstone and an iron. I'm going to get three of those because I'm going to need three eventually. You put like that. Boom, and you get covalence. And the last thing you're going to need is a coal and a diamond, which is the most expensive, which is the dark blue. There. Bam. Now I'm going to make a chest because I seem to not have any to my disposal. Plus, organization is really hard to do in this. For whatever reason, it just becomes impossible to organize things. So, uh, it, things will get really messy, especially in my inventory. So hopefully I can just, uh... I'll have to make a sorting system or something that keeps it uh, in good working order and organized and keep it as organized as possible. To best my ability. Stuff like that. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Just let's just get on with this. I'll just grab that. Grab that. So to make the Okay, seriously I need to uh 
god, what the hell am I doing? I'm being so stone, cobblestone, what the hell am I doing? I'm so confused, I'm just blanking. I'm trying to make one more just so I can transmute it if I ever need it more, which I will. So there's the one. You guys probably have no idea what I'm doing. Why is this iron not mixing? Oh, for no reason. Okay. So, one more, please. One more, please. Thank you. You guys probably have no idea what I'm doing or talking about at this point, but let's just, just follow along. So, you're going to have to put one there. One there. One there. Diamond there. Just in the middle. Iron on either side. And that's not right. Hmm. Oh. Whoops. It's easy to get the covalence dust messed up. Also, the covalences can be used to fix items. Like, if you put a tree tap, one of this, it'll return it back to its normal, original state. So, just good to know. Um. After that, I will need to make the awesome transmutation. It seems kind of hard to do, but it really isn't. If you just get the resources ready, then I can just plop that down there and I'll show you how it works you basically let's say I want to make some sticky resin I put what I want to make up here I can just put one and then I put what I want to turn into in there and I get one and look I'll just put put one iron in there and I'll get a bunch 12 is not enough let's just make a little bit more yeah that should be lots 55 of it 64 actually perfectly uh, should I make one more now I'll just have to keep one of it in case I want to get more of it. Boom. Just keep going. Stone. Keep going. I have no idea what's going on now. I'm just all over the place with this thing. Hopefully I can keep it in somewhat order so you guys don't get too confused. But if I can't, I apologize. And I'll make it up to you somehow by, like, being awesome later on. But for right now... No awesomeness involved, <laughs> unfortunately. Next thing I can build. Uh, well, I want to get some rubber going. So, you want to get the rubber going, obviously, right away as well. Put one of those in there. Rubber is very important. Guess you guys didn't know. So, the first thing I want to get going is a generator to make power. So, this one, right, not the generator right here. It makes it, you need a, I like to use this recipe, but there's two. Frankly, I just like this one better. So, you have the RE battery, which you can make, like, it, there's a weird thing that RE battery never shows how it does. The machine block, which is eight refined iron, refined iron is basically just smelted iron ingots, or refined iron dust. Anyway, then there's, uh, this furnace, obviously normal. This, to make the RE battery, is... going on there it is so you need four tin two redstone and the copper cable which is this three copper and six rubber so rubber is important nothing I haven't said already I just let's get another one going it's too slow for my taste I'm going to do a lot. Of, I'm going to basically smelt everything off screen and figure out what's wrong with this copper. I think this is like the weird copper. I don't know what happened with the game. I might just take these out because I did mine them. So I'm going to just spawn in copper because it's not cheating if the game cheated me. So I'm just going to spawn in copper. Hope you guys don't mind about that, but the game cheated me. So I'm a little bit uh, bitter right now. Another thing you want to build is a bat box, actually, because once you have a generator... Um, excess power will just get lost. So what you want to do is actually build a macerator as well. Very important. So macerator is just machine block. Electronic circuit, which is refined iron, two redstone, and six. Copper cable, not too hard. I know this stuff memorized because I've done it a lot. Machine block, cobble, and flint. I have flint. So very easy to make, very useful. Basically what it does, it turns the ore into two dust, and the dust turns into one ingot. So you get two ingot per di per ore so it doubles whatever you get gold copper tin everything um another thing you want to get is the bat box not to be confused with the battery box you want the bat box 
So it thinks three RE batteries, a copper cable, and five wood. Not too hard. I'll because I'm showing you this, uh, like how I'm doing it. I might just do it off screen because I've already shown you now how to do it. I'm gonna make a bunch of uh. Yeah, I'm gonna need to make a bunch of uh, refined iron. The first thing I want to do is get the. Uh... Get the tin going. Because I need tin. It's important. Do I have any rubber going? No, I don't. So I was gonna do. I was gonna. Make myself a furnace. Oh, I made one. Am I stupid? I'm stupid. I'm, it's been silent. It's awkwardly silent now. I have no idea what to talk about. But let's just get that going in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. And I'm going to smelt everything off screen. But first, I want to get the machines built so I can show you guys that uh, I'll need three flint. One, two, three. I have the cobble. I'll need the cable, but I'll get that in due time, in due time. Once I get eight refined iron, I'll just make a machine block. And, uh, start working towards the generator, because that's important. Generator runs on coal and stuff like that. So, uh... Where, what else did I need? Redstone. A, you know, you need lots of redstone in this. Um, three rubber... Wait for six so I can make a whole set. What are you doing? Get off my property, damn it. This is the weapons. Wow! No, you made me break my pumpkin. Actually, I don't really don't care. Because uh, I'm done with pumpkins. I've made enough. I just wanted to make the pumpkin so I can make these things. But I have tons in here. 18, that, and 8 jack o' lanterns, so I'm fine. Anyway, this thing, this thing's beautiful, in case you guys can tell. I haven't really used it, but actually, I don't even need the tungsten. I have no idea what the tungsten's used for. So just to start off with a beautiful start with lots of EMC, let, I'm going to turn all this tungsten into diamond. Boom. 26 diamond, guys. Am I raking in the lotsness? Whatever that means. Yes, I am. Come on, Cole. There's lots of back and forth in this, so... uh It's kind of, um, it's like confusing. It's gonna be nighttime. Let's just go to sleep. It does get a little bit confusing with so much stuff going on, and you gotta, like, remember how to do everything, but uh, talking over it, it live is even harder to do when you're trying to explain what to do. Especially if I'm not talking to someone, I'm talking to, a, like, you guys, so it's even more confusing. What the hell am I doing? Whoops. Just make that. And then we can use that to make our first electronic circuit because these are very important where did the tin I also need to make an RE battery so basically copper cables is the most essential thing in this besides like you know normal food and stuff so copper cable honestly you should just get as much of it as you can like literally as much of it as you can if you can't if you if you think you can get more then get more and if you can't get any more then don't because you'll kill yourself that way. Whatever the hell I'm saying, it makes no sense. Then I can go ahead and make the first generator. I will pump that into a battery box, but for that, I'll need more tin. The, I don't have a macerator yet, so the first thing I want to do is get more tin. I have tin for that. Let's just go ahead. I need more copper cable, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, I have enough. So I have three RE batteries. I need more wood. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know why I'm going with the number six. I just find it to be an interesting number. Not really. I hate the number six. No reason. I'm just a little bit bitter. <laughs> I'm talking fast and unclearly. You guys probably don't know what the hell I'm saying right now. Boom. Battery box. Now, I'm just going to take my generator and a stack of coal. And I'm going to go start producing energy downstairs. Just to save myself some time. Basically what you do is... You need a wrench, by the way, to pick this stuff up. So if you don't have a wrench, you are screwed. Once you place it down, uh, if you break it with a pickaxe, you'll lose it. So I'm just going to put the generator there. And I'll just put the bat box there. 
this dot right here is the output, so if you want to get power from the bat box, the, the cable that connects it needs to come out from this. But anywhere can be the input, so I'm just going to connect that with the copper cable to transfer the power, and you put that down there, it starts producing power, and then this thing will fill up once it's full, and it transfers into this, and this is getting power. It's basically the simplest. This is the lowest form of power. It only holds 40,000 EU per tick. Or, sorry, EU, which is the universal electricity unit in this, uh, in Minecraft Tech It. And per tick, obviously, that's just the power outage. That's how much it puts out. And 32 EU per tick is how much the max, the amount of machines can take. Any more will blow them up. But we'll talk about more when we have more powerful ways of powering them. For right now, it's very complicated and I'm terrible at explaining things, so hopefully you understand. If not, you can just keep watching me. And uh, as it goes on, you'll understand what I'm doing more and more. Hopefully. Otherwise, I don't think you have a very good learning ability. No offense. So now let's make, a, I have an electronic circuit, what am I saying? Let's go make a, so I got the tin. Let's, yeah, let's make a, another machine block. Machine blocks and, and, um, machine blocks? What the hell am I trying to say here, guys? It's a macerator right there, you guys, you guys didn't know. Machine blocks and electronic circuits are, bas are basically the most important thing to making any machine. Tons of important things, but to make a machine, you'll most likely need machine block and a, and a, um... I'm gonna put that right there so it automatically draws out power. Uh, no, it doesn't. Never mind. Crap, now I just ruined this. I'm gonna have to use a copper cable to collect it. It'll look stupid, but it'll have to be done. So now you can see this thing's getting power. Macerators are pretty slow to begin with, but we can make something called overclockers that make most industrial craft machines faster. All of them, really, except for later on. So we'll get started with that. I'm explaining so many things. You guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about going way over your head. But eventually, and in due time, you guys will understand what I am talking about. And hopefully will enjoy Tech It as much as I do. I did mess up with this, so I'm going to off-screen. No, I'm not going to off-screen. I'm going to make a... So this thing will start... And this is going to be very slow with the white thing. Once that fills up, you'll get two iron dust, which you can smelt by making an electric furnace. To do that, you'll need an iron, fur iron furnace. You can do that two, two ways. You can either make a furnace, put it here, and then make basically like a hat around it of iron, which I think I'll do because I have the cobble to do it. And otherwise, you can do it by uh, just making a box minus the middle of iron. So that's one way to do it. That's the iron furnace. Another way is to do it with the box way, like I just said. Like that. And you get that, but I'm not going to do it that way. Iron furnace, by the way, is uses coal as well, because not electric furnace, which I'm planning to make. It's, uh... Do I have enough cable? Yes, I do. I'm going to make another electronic circuit. Off screen, I'm going to make a bunch of electronic circuits and machine blocks. And smelt everything, because that just... It's easier that way. We'll have everything ready, and I can just show you how to build it. Like I was saying before, though, um, electric furnace runs on electricity, which is what the generator produces from coal. Uh, iron furnaces work double. Uh, they they smelt at double the speed of a normal furnace, but they still use coal or anything like that to burn, to power it. I mean, how much of this stuff have I got? Quite a bit. I'm gonna make more, more of this stuff. So, hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm talking really fast because I have lots to explain, but I will slow down once I get calmer state because I'm trying to explain everything and get you guys to understand most of what this is because that just is simpler. Um, anything to smell? This stuff is pissing me off. I'm just going to remove it right now. You know, I'm just going to spawn in with your eyes that I'm spawning in the real stuff because this stuff cheated me. I have no idea what happened with this, honestly. Um... So there was like, I want this copper. So there was two stacks, plus a little bit. I don't know how many, so I'm just going to give myself like ten. That'll be fine. So just proof for you guys there, I'm spawning the stuff in, and that's all I'm going to do. I'm switching back to recipe mode right now. That basically just tells me the recipes for stuff. There's tons of stuff you can do in this. There's so much that's amazing. Uh, and it's really cool what you can do, the amount of stuff that you can do. I don't actually remember how to make an electric furnace. So let's figure that out. There's a ton of electric stuff. Um, but here. Two iron, iron furnace, and that. I don't even need a machine block. What was I doing? Uh, iron furnace. Electronic circuit. Iron furnace. Boom. I mean electric furnace. 
I'm just gonna place that. I just need to make a wrench. I'm not sure I how to do that right now. So I'm gonna put that copper in there. I need to go get some tin actually. Power is a huge issue, like I said in the first episode at the beginning. But then it gets better once you figure out a way to make power. The first thing of uh, way I'm gonna try to make power. There's water mills and windmills. Those are pretty much really crappy at generating power. I'm gonna skip right to the um, right to the uh, solar panels, which are really cool. They generate enough power only in sunlight, obviously, because they are solar panels. But they're uh, very good once you have enough. Copper cables, I forgot to mention, they're really good at carrying power, but if you give them too much, they will blow up. And, um, other thing... Wow, I did not mean to do that. Holy crap, now it's just stuck there until I have a furnace. Oh, why am I so stupid? So four is enough. No, it's not. What am I saying? I'll need six of that, yeah. At least it has power, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and smelt that. Why not? Use, use it while I can. But yeah, power, big thing. Solar panels, very good at generating power. Copper cables, they will be, they will blow up if too much power is put into them. Uh, one thing that, one thing that is very expensive but very good, glass fiber cables. They will basically. Oh, I got a great idea. See this electric wrench? Ten, ge technically, to make this, I need to have a normal wrench. But I can just skip to, because I have enough resources. I can just this will break obviously. But I can just skip to the stage where I just make these two things and then have an electric wrench from the beginning. Because that electric tools don't break, they just run out of charge, and all you have to do is put them in the back box to charge them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, because that just seems logical. I have one of these refined iron left. Perfect. God, I'm messing up the placement badly. And I need to make... an RE battery. So that's what it uses to store the power. So boom. I'm actually going to charge the RE battery because if I do then the uh, wrench when I get it will be charged. You charge it by just putting it in the bat box which will probably um oh that's actually full already so let's might as well drain some of it into this power thing because then this coal burning will be wasted if I just have it burning continuously and it uh, is not going anywhere. 